So I just cut my fabric down to about, I think this is 10 inches. Yeah, 10 inches. And this is 40 count, by the way, by Zweigart. And I'm using this for a new design that I'm working on. And I'm going to coffee and tea dye this. And this is actually a lot bigger than what I usually make for my designs. But yeah, usually my cat designs are not more than four inches, five inches maybe. But this time my idea kept growing as I was drawing it out. So yeah, with margin and everything, I cut 10 inches um, for the width. And yeah, so I'm going to make my coffee and tea and also with this fabric. So I have my beaker, my coffee. It looks like dirt, but it's actually coffee. And then I have two tea bags and my hot water here. And this is the fabric that I just um, washed. And I like to add tea whenever I coffee dye my fabrics because I like the red tones that comes from it. So ever since I did my experiment, I add tea when I do coffee dyeing. So in my channel, there's a video where I experiment with coffee and tea. I did three fabrics, so one with just coffee and one with just tea. And my favorite was the one where I mixed the two. And that fabric is the one that I used for my strawberry chart. And that's what I'm trying to do here today. So yeah, I'm going to just pour some hot water here. And I'm just gonna add these two tea bags and make my tea first. And then I'm slowly going to add this um, instant coffee. I'm also going to experiment with making modelings because I'm not really good at that. So I'm just gonna practice with this. I'm gonna finish making my coffee and tea and then I'm just going to slowly just add the coffee and tea on top of the fabric but I'm not gonna soak it all the way through and I think that's gonna make some cool modeling and then after that I'm gonna put it in the oven for about half an hour so that color would set and then I'm gonna add a diluted version of this and soak the whole thing so I'm hoping that will make some good cool modeling maybe I don't know but I'm just trying things out here so we'll see what happens so I think I'm going to make this a little stronger so I'm just going to divide this into two so now I'm just going to add a little bit of coffee about this much And you can already see like the color difference. This is just the tea and it's like super red. But yeah, so I'm gonna use this to make modeling on to this fabric. So I'm just gonna use this and just pour it over a little bit. I think I want this to be a little darker, so I'm just going to add a little bit more coffee to it. And then I'll go over. So this is a little darker. So I'm going to stop here because I don't want to soak the whole thing. And I'm going to put this in the oven now. So I put my fabric into this oven here and I get a lot of questions about the temperature of my oven. And I put it on 90 because that's the lowest that I could get it. And if I could get it lower than 90, I would because Sometimes even 90, I feel like it's a little too high for this oven because my oven is pretty tiny. So sometimes even on 90, it gets a little burnt around the edges. 
so I have to keep my eye on my fabric but I have it um, for 30 minutes so I'm just gonna move this to 30 but yeah I'm going to put this in here for 30 minutes but I'm gonna have to keep my eye on it because even on 90 sometimes my fabric gets burnt and I don't want that to happen so yeah but if I could get it lower I would but in this case I can't really so yeah, I'm going to keep this in here for 90 minutes and then I'll come back. So it does look like it's a little burnt, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to put this back in here and pour my tea all over it and soak the whole thing. So I just wanted to see this before I put coffee all over it and I really like the modeling but it's just that like some places are a little too dark and in my camera it looks a lot darker and more contrasty but it's not like that in real life. So yeah I'm going to put this whole thing into the tea and I'm going to see if some of this will come out. Um, let's see the other side. Yeah it's still dark so yeah I'm just going to soak this whole thing into the tea so i have my tea here and i think i said coffee earlier but i meant tea so i'm just going to soak this whole thing and i'm just going to press this down so that it's soaked all the way through So I'm going to put this onto my hot plate and I'm just going to have it on the lowest setting so like one or maybe minimum I'm just gonna put it on one and then I'll bring it down back to minimum later but I'm going to put it here for now and it's already boiling so I'm just going to put it back down so I'm going to keep it here for maybe half an hour and see if the color would set. So I decided that I want to submerge the whole thing. So I made another batch of tea. So I think I'm just going to pour this whole thing in here. Because I really want my fabric to be a little bit more reddish. I just poured the whole thing in there. And I still have it in the lowest setting. And I'm just going to cover this up. And leave this in here for 30 minutes so it's been 30 minutes and I'm just going to open this up to see what this looks like so there are some dark spots here I don't know what that is but let me just wash this and see what this looks like so this is what it looks like and I don't understand how this happened there's like this dark spot in a couple of places. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is, but all I need is like this much space to do my design. So I think this should be okay, but I'm not really happy with the modeling. It's a little blotchy looking. So I'm actually going to use my leftover coffee and tea mixture to create a little bit more modeling on top of this. Um, but the color I really like, but it's just the modeling and yeah, I don't, I really don't understand how this happened. But yeah, so I'm going to see if I could um, make more modeling with the leftover mixture of coffee and tea here. So I'm going to put this back in the oven and this time I'm going to use aluminum foil to cover this up so that I don't burn my fabric. So I'm just going to cover this up and put this back in the oven for 30 minutes in the 90 degree setting. So I have it on 90 and I also have it on the lowest rack because, you know, it burns my fabric. 
so I have this in here longer than 30 minutes um, because I want this I wanted this to be completely dry when I took it out so I had it in here for an hour and it's almost dried and I'm really happy with the color but the modeling um, the modeling didn't happen at all so except for this part I think this is a little burnt but yeah so I'm going to just wash this and take this home and iron it out but so far I think it looks pretty good I'm really happy with it so I just got home and ironed my fabric and compared to my other two so these two I did the same coffee and tea but this one had more tea in it so it is a little bit more browner and redder and this is way lighter and I think it's because I used tea from a different brand so maybe it wasn't potent enough and I wasn't able to get this spot out which is fine because I can just use this side but overall I'm really happy um, I just wish I had a little bit more modeling so that's something I want to try next so yeah this was just a quick video I hope you liked it and let me know if you have any other questions and I'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye